Basic IT skills are a must in today's world, but where do you even start? Stick around, I'll show you. Hey there, friends. I'm Marissa with AIS. As you probably know, a lot of businesses typically have a dedicated in-house IT team or professional to help monitor, assess, and repair a company's technology needs. However, a lot of the time, your IT department is swamped putting out those complicated IT fires that always seem to come up at the worst times. Because of this, it's probably a smart idea that you brush up on some of your basic IT skills yourself. Follow me. Search engines, the answers to all of our modern day problems. Whether it's Google, YouTube, Yahoo, or Bing, all the information we need is out there waiting for us to uncover. So when it comes to IT problems, the first step is obvious. Go search for the answer online. For example, an error code pops up on your computer, printer, or copier, and you just aren't sure what it means. All you have to do is write down that error code along with the model number of your machine and plug it into a search engine like Google, and you'll probably come across one of four of these results. A response from a person who received the same issue and more than likely has a solution somewhere within the page. A troubleshooting article published by the service provider of that particular device that lists out steps for a solution. A suggestion or recommendation of similar questions that people have asked previously. Sometimes your answer can be found in those results. And lastly, if you're lucky, our very own tech tip series on this channel covering your exact problem. Check it out. Of course, there's gonna be times when your problems can't be solved with a single online search. And in that case, you'll need to either call the manufacturer of your machine or a professional IT technician. Most printers, copiers, and PCs offer so many different functions nowadays. It's kind of crazy what all they can do. Hey Siri, what do you dream about? Electric sheep, but only sometimes. With an increase in function comes an increase of cables and cords attached to a machine. The most common cables are the power cable, the USB cable, ethernet cables, and extra cables such as a mouse or a keyboard. Take some time to know what each cable does and where it plugs into. Most technology terminology sounds scary and intimidating. It's even sometimes hard to say. I promise it's not though. Let me break down some of the most common IT words for you. Your computer, printer, copier, and every device connected to the internet uses a specific internet protocol or IP address to identify the product. IP addresses are assigned for tracking purposes whenever your machine performs any functions. Think of it as your machine's very own license plate or social security number. Safety, safety, safety. Firewalls range from small antivirus software packages to complex and expensive software and hardware solutions. Whether your device comes with a firewall or not, you should certainly use and activate it to ensure your files and documents are kept safe and secure. Cloud computing gives you the ability to access your work from more than just one device or even remotely. It's great if you need to work from home work from any internet connected setting, and to collaborate without ever being in the same room as the same person you're working with. Congratulations, you're the millionth visitor to our website. Click here to claim your prize of a free brand new car. Don't fall for this scam. Advertisements like this are ripe with malware and other high security threats. Think through something on the internet before you click on it, especially before giving away any personal information. So there you have it, some basic and essential IT skills you're now a little more familiar with. 
When it comes to information technology, things can get tricky. And just because your in-house IT department might not have the time to assist you, doesn't mean your problems should go unresolved. And as a side note, have you ever thought about outsourcing your IT and using a managed IT services company? Read our blog below and learn a little bit more. And don't forget, hit that like button on our videos at the Copier channel. I'm Marissa, and remember, you can worry less with AIS. I'll see you next time.